Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem very quickly. And by the way, we should be able to know that um, x here must not be equal to 0. Because if f is equal to 0, then the whole of this equation will be undefined. Okay? We have square root of 1 over 2 plus 1 over x equals 2 plus root 2 over 2 root 2, right? Now, the first thing I want us to do is this. Square root of 1 is 1, and then square root of 2 will come under here. Then plus 1 over x equal to 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 root 2. Mind you, these two cannot cancel this, and this cannot cancel that. Now, the next thing we'll do is to rationalize this. If you rationalize this, what would you have? Remember, to rationalize the whole of this, okay, this is what I would do. 1 over square root of 2 multiplied by square root of 2 over square root of 2, okay? I have rationalized the first term here. Then I have plus 1 over x equal to 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 root 2, right? Now, I want to rationalize this too because of this, you know, square root of 2. So, I'll multiply by root 2 and then root 2 here. Remember, this has not changed anything because root 2 over root 2 is 1. And 1 times anything is the same thing. So, from here now, 1 times root 2 will give us um, root 2. This will be over root 2 times root 2 will give us 2 because square root of 4 is 2. Then plus 1 over x equal to, here now, root 2 will multiply this. So we have um, 2 root 2. Now the same root 2 will multiply root um, 2. That will give us plus 2. This will be divided by root 2 times root 2 will give us 2. Then 2 times 2 will give 4. So we have 4 over there. Now we can proceed. Root 2 over 2 plus 1 over x equal to 2 is common to this, so bring out 2. Then open here, we have root 2 plus 1. This is over 4. That is over 4. Mind you, 2 can go there one time, and it goes here two times, right? So this means that we have um, root 2 over 2 plus 1 over x equal to root 2 plus 1 and the whole of this is over 2. Mind you, we are looking for the value of um, x. And from this point, we can even find the LCM of everything. By the way, what will be the LCM of 2x and 2? So the LCM is equal to 2x. Now multiply everything by 2x so that we will now have 2x multiplied by root 2 over 2 plus 2x, that is the LCM, multiplied by 1 over x and is equal to 2x multiplied by root 2 plus 1 over 2. Okay, so from here what do we have? 2 can go there and we have um, x root 2. Okay, and then plus here, x will cancel itself from here, and we have 2 times 1, which is 2, and that is equal to here, 2 will go there, and we have x into square root of 2 plus 1. Now, what do I do from here? Since we have x in two places, let's collect like terms, and if we do that, we have x root 2 minus x into square root of 2 plus 1. Close this bracket. Okay, then everything will be equal to, this is minus 2, right? You know, this plus 2 becomes minus 2 on the other side. Remember, we are looking for the value of x. And from here now, we can factor out our x. If we factor out x, then we shall have x outside. Here we have root 2, then minus the whole of this, right? In fact, this negative 
will open this bracket. So negative times minus negative times root 2 will give us negative root 2. Negative times 1 will give us negative 1. Right? Then let's close this bracket. And the whole of this is equal to 2. Now what are we going to do? This minus this definitely will give us 0. So we are having x into minus 1 because this and this can cancel. This is now equal to minus 2, right? Very correct. And if we continue from here, remember that we can just divide both sides by minus 1. Divide by minus 1. So that this can cancel the whole of this. And x is equal to minus 1 over minus 2 over minus 1. And that will give us positive 2. So therefore, this is the value of x for the equation. But I want us to check very um, quickly. The original equation is 1 over 2. Okay, square root of 1 over 2 plus 1 over x. Okay. Okay, this is equal to 2 plus square root of 2 over 2 root 2. Now, if we put 2 here, can we have what we have on the right? Let's try it and see. Remember that this is 1 over square root of 2, right? Plus here now we're having 1 over 2 because our x is 2. And then to deal with this, remember that we can just rationalize this just like I did before. If I rationalize this, then I'm going to have root 2 over 2. And I hope you know how I got that. Then plus um, 1 over 2. Now the next thing is this. What is the LCM of this and this? The LCM is 2. Let me start this from here. The LCM is 2, right? 2. Then 2 divided by 2 is 1 times root 2 will give us root 2. Then plus, on the other side, 2 divided by 2 is 1 times 1 will give us some... That will give us some 1, right? So this is what we are having. And then um, remember that what we have here... What we have here, this and this are the same. Okay, now let's confirm this very quickly. Okay, so like I said, I want to you know, check whether this and this are equal. So let's hold on quickly. Now let's deal with this. We are going to rationalize this very quickly. So this will be 2 plus root 2 over 2 root 2. To rationalize this, multiply it by root 2 here, which will be root 2, then it will still be over root 2, right? Now, if we do that, root 2 times 2 here will give us um, 2 root 2, then plus this times this will give us 2, very quickly. Then here, we have um, 2 root 2 times 2 will give us 2 times 2, okay? So if we continue, then this will give us... We have um, 2 is a common factor from the top there. And then we have um, here now we have root 2 plus 2 has come out. So 1 will be there. Close the bracket. And this will be over 2 times 2, which will give 4, right? Now this will go here 2 times. Meaning that we're having root 2 plus 1 over 2. So this is to confirm that we are very correct. Because this and this are now the same thing. Okay, so this and this are the same. So we've confirmed that our x is equal to 2. And it satisfies the equation. Thank you for watching.